Good morning, interweb. Oh. Because you hadn't started yet? I know, I haven't started yet. I didn't know. I was joking. <laughs> Good morning, interwebs. It's 8 p.m. It is 8.04, thank you very much. If we can't be early, we can at least be specific. So anyways, <laughs> it is, it's windy, so we'll see if the audio is just terrible. All may remember last year, was it last year that Peachland came into existence? Uh huh. Okay, oh my goodness, there's so many! They look like, they look like olives, but they're peaches. You see all those peachlets? Those are gonna become peaches! Last year's peachlets didn't make it because we I, accidentally pruned off its branch. Well, that was on a different tree. We didn't have near as many. Oh, there's actual hope we'll have peaches! I know! <laughs> I counted 22. 22? And that was just off what I could find that's easily. A, that's a big number. That is a big number. That's almost a whole jar of smiles. Okay, I'll probably eat them like out of hand this year, but soon! Or crisp. Soon I can make smiles. Cobbler! <gasps> Peach cobbler. Would you like to, to repeat the little squeal? I went, ooh, there's some over here. <laughs> In a video, I've been messing with some fabric for some different bag things, organizing some of that. We drove twice to the next town over to get tools to fix a trailer tire that we popped. Or not trailer, tractor tire. We went and got a tractor tire and got my glasses readjusted and went to the grocery store because I needed coffee and we got fudgesicles and they were really tasty. And then we came home for a little bit, did a little bit more poking around at things. And then we went to dance rehearsal because it was on a different day than usual. And Kuma is chasing a bumblebee, real cute. And then um, I went to Taco Bell afterwards now I'm going to show you what my office looks like. I'm just going to show you through the window, which I have opened from the outside. But it has no walls or, or ceiling for that matter. Just studs. Whoop. You tried to jump. You are a daredevil. So there is the stairs. So upstairs and there's the stair closet. Door. But actually over there is gonna be the new door. And this door is going away. I know we made that decision this afternoon when we were, well, I was looking at things and thinking of options. And then we we're looking at what studs actually mattered in things and yeah, we're gonna move our door. So that's an exciting, exciting change. I'm gonna try and close this window from the outside without closing it too much because this is our only way in and out of the room right now because the door is still, still taped up until tomorrow when we were going to go and buy a bunch more supplies and things and Steve is getting a new shop back. Um, it's waiting at Menards for us to go pick it up. Okay, I'm gonna go and close this window, go in the house and see if everything got brought in from Walmart. Good morning interwebs, it's 11.38. Just sitting here on the porch for a moment, feet up. So pretty. We are headed to Manhattan here shortly. We're gonna go to Menards to buy a light fixture for the kitchen and probably one for my office. And we have an order from Menards to pick up of things that will help finish off uh, all the construction and things. We have many projects going on, so you know, many things. And I have acupuncture today. That's actually, I mean, the big reason why we're going today and not a different day. And Steve was just grabbing a part to the ceiling fan. So once again, our children can this have- This part. Oh goodness. How did they break that again? They shoved a stick up into the air and hit this blade of the ceiling fan while it was That's on. That's right. <sighs> children. But that's what you also get for buying the inexpensive ceiling fan. Though, I probably would have just been madder if it had happened with the more expensive one. But they basically then had to not have light on half of their room for part of the... I guess no fan. The light's still... Well, the light was already broken. That's right, they broke the light in a different incident. That was the previous kid. Yeah. They're all getting older. Things are going to stop breaking quite so often. I promise myself. And luckily, I have my sisters to look to and see how their families did. There was a while where handles were a problem. 
we went through a handle phase too where the handles on everything just break because children can't understand the handles are tools not things that are there for their hanging pleasure like why why do you hang on like the microwave handle i don't know it's there <sighs> children okay so just gathering myself and my stuff we're headed out to do those things and then oh i have to go to joanne's too i need to go and pick up a few odds and ends to finish some bags i cleaned up my my area in the parlor last night i moved those out because they're going bye bye and i put all the things back into the giant armoire that had been covering like a like a folding table so there's more room in there partially to do that because it's going to become a construction zone too because why do construction in one room when you can do it in three simultaneously right so <laughs> that'll be that'll be fun and yeah I think that's it for the day. We're probably going to go out to eat. That'll be good. And get some groceries. That'll also be good because I've been intentionally trying to use, like, everything out of my pantry. I do this every once in a while because I think it's good to, like, switch over all your staple foods. So I have most of my pantry cleaned out. Um, so we just need to fill those things back in, though, because I don't want to have to old mother Hubbard it, you know, when the cupboard's bare and all. So okie dokie. Ugh. I had to peel myself out of this chair. So we can go and do those things. But I've been trying to relax a bit this morning, knowing that today is going to be long and stressful. And since part of what we are getting is lighting, we're going to have to go into the light bulb aisle. Which means that all knowledge and brain power will be sucked from my head. Because that is what happens when you enter the light bulb aisle. It's the stupid aisle. It renders all people stupid when they walk in it. Remind me to show you the stupid aisle when we get there. You can, you can experience the sensation. I was telling people about the stupid aisle at work just the other day. 